So I had, I had made one of these videos here a while back, but kind of really didn't go into deep in the detail of how to set some stuff up. So this here, I'm just going to show um, basic settings. If you if you aren't into figuring out like to get the maximum out of your computer, out of your GPU, you just want it to do the best it can with its auto boost feature that it comes with. So and and how to set up the Uconnect with whatever game you're running. So here's what I'll start with. First, you want to take your your first. Let's go to the settings here. So once you install this, you want to have start with Windows Connect clicked, enhance overclocking range clicked. I unclicked show monitor because I don't need that monitor sticking up on the side there. And then apply previous settings. I unclicked that just in case when I was trying to get the maximum uh, clock speed, I didn't want it to reload with something that didn't work. So that, you hit that and then you just hit the save. It'll save it. So let's go back to the other screen here real quick. So power target, set that all the way up. Mine goes to 135. Some go to 125, uh, depending on what card you have. GPU voltage, set that 100%. Go ahead and leave the boost clock and the memory clock alone. You don't mess with those. GPU temp, set that all the way up. Mine goes to 90. I think like the 2060 goes to 87. And then fan speeds. Let's go ahead and set those like at 70%. And you can run those. If you find out your car's running too warm, you can run those higher, but 70% should work pretty decent. Then you hit apply. Then you hit save, or save as, excuse me. And you give it a name. So let's call this, uh, let's just say it's iRacing. I have to, hold on, I have to unhold my talk button so I can type in the name real quick. Okay, so I called it iRacing, I hit save. And now, once it saves, that's up there. Now, the next step here is to set up the Uconnect, or the Connect, I mean, so that whenever you start your app or your game, it'll automatically go to these settings. You don't have to go and click on the GPU tweak to get to do it. So click on this right here. See where it says Connect? Click on that. Now over here pull this down now I've already got mine loaded up because I got one save for it but if there was nothing here you would browse until you find for iRacing the iRacing sim 64 DX 11 exe which is located in your C drive iRacing yeah I believe that's pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's what's at anyways when you select that then the I already had this connected, so I'll disconnect. It should look like this. And I come up to the iRacing one. I like that. Hit connect. Connect it successfully. And you just exit out. Boom. And then as soon as you load iRacing in and you go into the session and it starts loading that up, it'll automatically switch over to these settings you have here. Now, obviously, I got to change mine because that's not the ones I use. So I'll go back in here. Go back to Uconnect. Select this. Disconnect. Now I use. Which one? I use this one right here. Not connect. And so now set back to what I use. But anyways, that's that's how you. Uh, Set up the connect feature. And then those are just some good basic settings for if you don't want to learn or don't want to mess with what your maximum boost can be and your maximum memory can be. Setting it up so that you have the all the power the card will allow, 
the voltage goes to the max temp, max temp and then this fan speed should keep the card cool enough where it shouldn't uh, throttle back at all. And that was kind of a short little video, but hopefully it helps anybody. And then, of course, on that Connect thing, if you were playing a different game, you would just browse to whatever your game's EXE was called and put that in the Connect spot. If it was not iRacing, let's say it was like, uh, I don't even know any other racing games, but whatever racing game it would be, you go to its EXE and select that and then hit Connect for your tuning profile. Anyways, um, other than that, um, hopefully that helps some people just get a little bit more out of their card than, because obviously when it's, it's default mode, GPU voltage is set at zero, power target's only 100. The fan speeds are different, and then of course your temperature's lower too. So just to help get the most out of it, and then uh, the automatic boost will kick in and go to as high as it allows it without getting up into any artifacting or or too high where it actually freezes up or anything. <laughs> 